Morning guys, I'm happy and I'm getting to work from home today. This is a once in a blue moon occurrence for me. Usually uh, we're not trusted to work from home by ourselves. But uh, I can't do the work at work because um, the internet's broken. So I'm here, I'm writing some code today. Um, see what other excitement happens. Well, the coding is coming along well this morning. I've been working hard all morning on getting this availability thing working and getting into the database and things. It's all good. Uh, but it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to go and get some bread for lunch and, and enjoy myself a little bit. And then back to it this afternoon. While I was down at the shops, I um, called into Umart and I picked up a, an external hard drive. Uh, I think this is going to come in handy for traveling. Um, the really good thing about this one is it's, it's a wireless one terabyte, but it also has an external, um, a built-in card reader for external cards. So um, I should be able to take photos and things and videos and stuff directly from the camera and store them straight on the drive, which is really going to come in handy instead of having to buy a multitude of cards while I'm away. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and we'll see what's up. So this is a My Passport Wireless uh, by Western Digital. This is in no way a paid endorsement. I paid for this product. But 
I, I do highly recommend Umart though. They are um, quite a bit cheaper than some of the other places and if you've got a budget, they're quite a good option. This was sort of a good 30 or 40 dollars cheaper than buying at retail. So. Can't really complain with that. So in here we've got, we've got a, uh, oh God, a plastic, we've got a little power plug. So that would be the one we need for Australia. I've uh, got an American one here, which might be quite handy for traveling. Okay, uh, and we've got an AC adapter. How does that work? Okay, I see you just, looks like you just dock the, the plug you want on the end. That's pretty easy. And we've got a USB cable. Looks like a USB 3. That's USB 3. Alright, and we'll get into the drive itself. That's quite a nice unit. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones I've had. Um, for comparison, I've got a, got a Seagate Backup Plus drive here. So you can see the, the, oh God, the thickness. It's quite, it's about twice the thickness. And uh, this one's a terabyte as, the, as well, so they're both the same capacity, but yeah, obviously, I guess the electronics for the um, Wi-Fi and stuff takes up a bit more space. Got, oh, there's like a little card protector thing in there, that's quite good. Okay. Alright, we'll get that fired up and have a look, see how it all works. Uh, Right, we just got that hooked to the computer. I'll plug the USB into the back here. There we go. Easy. Got a little red light on it so far. Wonder how the Wi Fi works. Is it something that just automatically comes on when you turn it on, or do you have to Let's have a look? Under my phone here and see if we can go into Wi Fi and see it. Nope. It's like I might have to read the instructions. So I got the um, passport drive to work finally. It was painful to set up. Um, so Surprisingly, I found other people online also said it was quite difficult, uh, but the easiest way I found in the end to do it was to install the iOS app and then that let me go through all the setup and everything. Um, I've ended up having to reformat for Mac, but that's okay uh, and it's working good now. Um, the best thing about it is I can set it up to automatically copy data from an SD card, so the second I put it in there then copies all my camera data and stuff and backs it all up on the drive. So I think it's going to be really awesome and really helpful um, for travelling. And um, we've got a trip later in the year, uh, which I'm really hoping to put in the vlog, so it should be quite exciting, but I'll tell you more about that when we get closer. So when the um, drive is connected to the Wi-Fi, the light goes blue. The little light above that is the um, power light. It shows the level of battery. Uh, it cycles through colors uh, to indicate when it's getting down. So it's getting low at the moment. I'm gonna have to put it on and give it a good charge, um, but it should go up to blue when it's fully charged. I think it goes blue, green, orange, and then red finally. Don't know what's going on, but it's getting really dark outside. Looks like we might have a storm coming in. You happy now? Inside? You on your bed? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, it's crazy! Crazy stuff! I don't lift the bed. Just spend hours looking the hair up. Nuts. 